Have you ever wondered why different animals look the way they do? Look at the color and texture of their skins. Can you guess what they are? Camouflage refers to the color or shape many animals have that makes it difficult for them to be seen. It's like a disguise that helps them hide from enemies or hunt for food without being noticed. Animals live in many different kinds of places, in water and on land. You might pass through lots of areas like these without seeing many animals, but if you know what to look for and how to look carefully, you'll be amazed at what you find. This female white-tailed deer is easy to see in the green forest, but watch how easy it is for her fawn to hide. The white spots on its coat look like sunlight streaming down through the leaves. It's a good disguise. Meanwhile, the mother will also try to distract animals that might harm her fawn. When it gets older, the young deer will no longer have its spots but by then it will be larger and stronger and able to outrun most of its enemies. Some birds, like this American bittern, build their nest among swamp reeds. Notice that as the bird stretches its neck, its color and stripes blend in with the tall reeds. Striped markings help many animals hide. The long-tailed skink has thin stripes that run along its body. As it moves among the plants and tall grass where it lives, it's very difficult to see. A tiger is a predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Its ability to hide is very important because it helps the tiger sneak up on its victims or prey. With its bold orange and black stripes, you might think a tiger would always be easy to see. But in tall grass and trees, its stripes help it hide very well. Found in warm seas around the world is a peculiar fish called a flounder. Lying on the bottom of the ocean, it is almost impossible to see. It can even change color to match the background. A flounder can move each of its eyes in different directions. This can make it appear to be two different animals, which also helps it to escape predators. Some animals can hide right out in the open because their color or shape matches their background so well. These lizards blend right in. The color and texture of their skin make it difficult to see them even when they're close. If they don't move, they are even harder to see. Notice they are both light and dark colored, much like the logs they are on. Look closely and you will see a gecko lying flat along the side of this tree. A gecko is another type of lizard. Its stillness, its color and its shape are all part of its camouflage. Glass catfish are almost invisible because you can see right through them. 
it is possible to study their skeletons as they swim and feed. Can you guess what this is? You are looking at the head and snout of a smooth, soft-shelled turtle. This turtle lives in the sandy, shallow waters of rivers in the central and southern United States. Its soft shell feels a bit like leather. It's not as well protected as turtles with harder shells. It keeps to shallow water, where it stays at least partly buried in the sand when it needs to stick its long snout out to breathe. The soft-shelled turtle is hard to see because its sandy brown color is the color of the river bottom. Not all animals blend in so well with their background, but that doesn't mean they can't hide. Many animals bury themselves. The Kenyan sand boa buries itself to hide from the birds and mice it hunts. This small African snake will wait for its prey. or move to another location where hunting may be better. The sandfish skink seems to swim in the sand as it searches for insects to eat. This odd-looking creature is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs borrow seashells to live in. The hard seashells protect the crab's soft body. When it outgrows this shell, it will simply move to a larger one. This looks like a piece of a plant, and it is. It protects the caddisfly larva inside from predators such as this dragonfly nymph. The disguise works as long as the caddisfly larva doesn't stick its head out too far. Otherwise it may be caught. Some insects look so much like part of the plant they live on that they're called walking sticks or stick insects. Can you see one in this picture? This is an oriental walking stick, an insect that eats leaves. If it stays still, you might look right at it without ever seeing it. The Australian walking stick sways back and forth in the breeze, like a leaf or a small twig. Its legs and body even look like bits of thorny twigs. When it is still, its shape and color make it hard to spot among the tree branches. As we have learned, some animals are difficult to see. Other animals may be easy to see, but look like a piece of wood or a stone or perhaps a leaf. Often their enemies don't recognize them for what they really are and simply leave them alone. A Malayan leaf frog looks like a leaf until it moves. This kind of camouflage can also help animals hunt for food. The Mata Mata turtle looks like a big leaf in the water. As it lies still with its head turned up, 
Small skin flaps under its chin look like parts of plants. Some small fish are attracted to them, mistaking them for food. And when that happens, some animals change color, perhaps because of changes in temperature, light, or activity. This helps them to blend in with different surroundings. This green anole blends in well with these bright green leaves. Now its color has changed to brown, and it is very hard to see among the brown branches. This green tree frog is a light green color now. While resting on a light green leaf, it blends in very well. When it moves to a darker leaf, it stands out clearly. Here it is partly dark and partly light and is more difficult to see. Here it is all dark green, except for a light stripe along its sides. It can even turn yellow or gray in a matter of minutes. Snowshoe hares and arctic hares change color as well, but they do so slowly as the seasons change. Can you see the hare? Of course a hare has to eat, and to do that it must move around, making it easier to see. As summer approaches, its white fur is gradually replaced by a coat of grayish brown. The willow ptarmigan is a bird that dramatically changes color with the seasons. In winter, it is white. Then as warmer weather begins to melt the snow, the ptarmigan's white feathers are replaced by new ones of reddish brown. This process is called molting. It provides the ptarmigan with excellent camouflage all year round. The molt is now complete. The ptarmigan blends into the background so well that it all but disappears when on its nest. If you're ever walking across a gravelly field or beach and you come upon a scene like this, be very careful where you step. This is a killdeer and its nest is nearby. No, it doesn't really have a broken wing. This is an act it puts on to attract attention away from its nest. When the danger is passed, it returns to its nest. Can you see the eggs? The killdeer is right over them now. For most animals, the key to survival is to avoid being seen. Camouflage makes this possible, whether an animal matches the color of its background and remains very still, or even changes color. How long did it take you to see the pheasant? Can you spot the green anole in this scene? And how about this? the oriental walking stick. Learning about the different kinds of camouflage can help us know what to look for and where and how to look.
Knowing about camouflage can help us better understand and enjoy the world around us.